Okay, we're doing a test in pure darkness, almost pure darkness. So it's like completely dark to my eye. The iPhone camera, I can barely see. Um, as you can see, you can't see anything. I'm in a room and I'm relying on this source of light that's coming from my windows in the other room. So this is going to provide enough infrared lighting for me to see in this room. Um, so that's actually really faint. This iPhone can pick up light much brighter than the human eye. So that, of course, you know, the iPhone 13 and the iPhone newer can see, you know, light a lot better than the human eye. But that's actually like really dim to me, to the human eye. To this iPhone, it looks really bright and it's actually extremely dim. So um, to the human eye. So we all know that the iPhone has day night. So watch this, can't see nothing. And then pure magic, boom. Got some LiDAR flashing off of my MVG. I mean, not my MVG, my uh, iPhone. Look at that. So the iPhone is actually seeing this from a screen. I have it on level three. The screen's on level three brightness. Uh, which is the maximum brightness that's comfortable for me. But as you can see, you can see the entire room um, very clearly. This is my closet. It's a little bit of a mess. Sorry, guys. But you, you can see really, really well, really, really well all the way around into the entire room just from this little bit of source of light. And I am in color mode, so I can see in the infrared spectrum and partial color spectrum. So the thing about this camera... Its main purpose is to mostly pick up its very extremely IR or infrared light sensitive. It's it's like at least I would say three, two, maybe 300 times as strong or sensitive to 300 times sensitive from picking up IR, which is really cool, really good, which means if you have overcast, even with little uh city light pollution overcast like say you got clouds and it's dark it's clouds outside like it's about to rain um any city lights that's bouncing off the clouds refracting you're gonna see outside like it's daytime but if it's clear in the sky no moon absolutely dark you're gonna have to use the ir because there's not enough ambient infrared light bouncing off the clouds um, so, but if you can see in the human eye, just a tad bit where this thing can't see anything because there's not enough ambient infrared lighting. It's mostly, uh, in the visible light spectrum. So it's not too, it's pretty visible light spectrum sensitive. I would say about like 50 times, but not as strong as the infrared light spectrum. Like this thing is extremely infrared light sensitive. Like that's all the IR light that's coming from my window from the sun, all the infrared rays and UV rays. I'm not sure about the ultraviolet uh, light spectrum on how sensitive it is. I don't have a black light or a super dim black light to test that theory, but uh, I'm just doing some testing with this thing. Uh, so yeah, if you're outside with this, it's completely dark, as dark as you can get. You can't even see nothing. No ambient infrared light, it's clear skies, no moon, nothing. You're not gonna see anything really. You'll see a little teeny bit, but uh, it, this is not bad. It's pretty close to analog night vision. It's, it's, it's really impressive. So the iPhone camera versus to the human eye, the screen is actually dimmer. So if I go in person right now, as I'm looking through it, I can see everything really well, but to the iPhone camera, it sees the surroundings even way better on a screen than I can because the iPhone uh, 13's camera is super light sensitive. So it's gonna see the picture in much detail, but in person, I can still understand and see my surroundings extremely well. So try to imagine this, but a little bit dimmer. Actually, let me see if I can. Uh, change some settings here. Level three, that's level four brightness, level five brightness. That's just really stupid, right? But 
you can see that I can see even better. So, whoops, just bought my phone. So if I look in person, uh, oh yeah, it's, I can see a lot better now. I can see my surroundings even better now that I turned the brightness up. So if I go back and go to see auto brightness, Uh, yeah, you can see and that's on the lowest dimness, even on the lowest setting screen brightness, I can still see my surroundings really well off that little bit of very dim lighting that's coming from my door and human eye. But to this thing, it's like ridiculously bright, but it's on the lowest setting. So if I go here, oh yeah, let me show you something else too. So about this. That's the only thing I don't like is that sudden flicker, but it's not that bad. So I can't complain, you know, it's, it's just changing its, its brightness setting and the screen does flicker off uh, for a split second. So if I go here, come on. level one brightness is the same brightness. So I set it to level three because that's perfect for me for what I want to see. But if it's too bright for my eyes at night, I'll turn it down to uh, level one brightness. And I usually keep it off auto bright, uh, auto brightness because when it transfers to different brightness levels, it just, it flickers for an instant second. And I, Personally, me, it's a personal, personal uh, thing. You know, that's a me thing. I don't really like it, but I'm not complaining. I am extremely happy, satisfied customer. I am impressed. This thing is really good for the money. Um, be aware though, if you guys are looking for this thing, if you see websites selling this thing for two grand or more, don't, don't do that. Okay. Just, just don't, it's not worth that. Okay. It's worth the $500 that they put on it. So this is what you see. You can't see nothing. And in person, the screen, like in person to the iPhone, it's much brighter. And I can see through this thing much better than I can, which is impressive. But I can still, in person, see in detail really well what it's like. So imagine this, right? Bring the tone brightness down by about 15 no, not that much, about 10, yeah, about 15% because the iPhone's exaggerating the brightness, which is quite interesting. But yeah, look at that, look at that. See all that, I, I, this, that's IR off, okay? We got the white phosphorus here. There you go, white phosphorus. Uh, and I do, from, from testing and stuff, I use a white phosphorus to, in certain, like, I will use white phosphorus in like urban lighting areas uh, because it actually is, you know, less on the eyes and it gives me a pop out but also i also use the black and white r i r or no i no i keep saying IR, black and white picture mode um to basically to to pop out silhouettes you know what i mean to pop out that the the silhouettes of objects a little bit better and also when i turn the ir on this is my favorite setting to set it to because, uh, or green, green, a green phosphorus or black and white is perfect because it's not so harsh in the eyes. It's actually really easy, especially when I go to IR1, IR2, and then of course IR3. Um, but you can see it's not that very well focused, but yeah, this, this is quite impressive. Very, very impressive. I can see my surroundings really well. Look at that. Look at that. Really good. Really, really good. see my surroundings exquisitely no problem
even me in person, I can't see anything in here, but that little bit of light, which according to YouTube, I can't see anything from, but to me on the phone screen, I can barely see that because iPhone can pick up really well, but man, what are y'all thoughts on this? Comment below. Look at this. This is just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, this, this thing means business. It's not a joke. But no, it will not work. It, obviously, it will not see in clear skies with no moon at all, and which means complete darkness. Absolute pitch black. You will have to use the IR. But if you've got a moon or you've got overcast and you've got city lights reflect, refracting off the uh, clouds, oh my God, you're going to see really 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 well like daytime you will not need to use the ir so yeah this thing's badass i absolutely uh dig it man and i can still see my surroundings really really well navigate um no problem with the eye at this on my face you know it's just, I, i'm i'm happy with it it's it's not a bad device not not bad. Super impressed. <laughs> Super impressed. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I'll see y'all in the next update soon. Um, kind of try to figure out how to do sky gazing. Oh, let me say this real quick. One more thing I'm going to mention about the NVG30, which I really don't like. Uh, I really do not like this, and I don't know why. So when it comes to recording... It only allows you to record 60 seconds, though, as it's recording, and it only records 60 seconds, and it makes another new uh, video footage, and it basically stacks video footages that you have to stitch in editing, and I don't know if there's something in that I can change that or if it's not possible. I really absolutely do not that is the only really downside gripe about this is that when it comes to recording off a device is it only it records 60 seconds at a time and it makes a new video stamp and then once i pull the sd card out i got a bunch of video stamps it doesn't record one whole stamp like i wish it would so that way you know i don't have to st stitch a whole bunch of freaking videos together and put them in order and stuff and that's the only really negative thing I have about it. Um, the screen thing, that's that's not really a negative thing, really. I don't mind. I don't like it, but I don't mind. But the most absolutely annoying thing is when it comes to recording and it makes a bunch of video stitches, 30, uh, 60 seconds of every each video. Wish it would just record one video instead of making a bunch of them and making me have to stitch them. <laughs> it's the only thing. Only thing I really don't like about it, it's negative. Other than that, extremely, extremely, extremely satisfied, happy with the performance. It's definitely, it's it's a monster. This thing is powerful for digital IR. Oh man. All right, guys, uh, leave me some comments and questions, whatever you want to ask, leave it below. All right, see you later.